Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're trying to do basically a 10 win streak. I guess it's a 9 win streak if you don't count the lost. We're going to be playing as Kane next after that Maggie run. Maggie run was a lot of fun. Once we got it figured out, it didn't take too long to make it happen. K6LX SQ Z9. I believe in this run. The what, do you believe in this run? If you do, say it with me. I believe in this run. I believe in... Don't say that with me, all right? Don't just do whatever a freaking stranger tells you to do. What are you, some kind of sheep? If you're a sheep, just ba for me right now. I'm, just, I'm fucking with you. I'm not an asshole like that. Most of the time. So, uh, with 2 HP, I've, I've learned a valuable lesson a few runs ago as Eve. If you got... You don't need brass balls, but if you have balls made of, like, aluminum foil, you can go to that curse room right away. And, oh, oh, don't touch it, don't touch it. Yeah, we got a golden key out of it. That's actually excellent. But if you have uh, balls made of aluminum foil, you can go to that curse room. Oh, that's so good. 3 HP right off the bat takes us to 5 HP. That's as much as we need for, like, the entire run. Uh, but what I was worried about is with 2 HP, you walk in here, open one up, get two pills. <laughs> you know what? Goodbye. Goodbye, Nine Lives. I love you. You found the exact situation that I don't take you in, though. After I get five or four HP, you know what? I will not take Nine Lives and lose almost all of it. You got me. Now, one thing's for sure, if you're playing this seed and you're a little bit behind me, you went in a different direction or something like that, what I... Oh, take good Tinted Rock there. What I would advise you to do, without a doubt, is uh, go to your curse room, pick up Nine Lives, walk out, and then... For sure, go pick up the body, assuming you have it unlocked and have the same seat as I do. That would be awesome. However, you know, I've got to play the cards as they're dealt. What, what am I complaining about? What's our situation right now? Oh no, we have 5 HP. We can just pretend that that cursor didn't have anything in it. The only reason it burns me up is because I love 9 lives so much that to let it go, it hurts a little bit. I'll admit, to let a free guppy item go, and especially 9 lives early. Nine lives early is so good, but I, you know, it might even be worth go, going down to one HP for, and that's the fucked up thing about it. That's how good it is. But I can't pick up three HP and then give up four HP right away. If I if I'm given the choice, you know, I've, I'm gonna cling to what I've got for now. They say easy come, easy go. Nah, man, easy come, keep it around, please. Kind of gross by accident. Luck down. Mm, not a huge deal as Kane. Bad gas. Tears up. Okay, this is well worth it, and we'll take the lemon party pill with us to the next floor. Wish we had some bombs so I could actually uh, bomb open that golden chest and access it. There was another good tinted rock situation happening as well. Curse of the Unknown. We have half a spirit heart. Important to keep that in mind. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, good. Now, lemon party is awesome here. We shouldn't worry about saving lemon party. Easily could have taken damage there. We shouldn't worry about saving lemon party for our boss fight because uh, we, we can do a pretty good job on a boss fight without Lemon Party, and it's also conceivable that we fight a boss who can fly. Duke of Flies, I guess, is the only boss that I can really think of that flies on the basement, but, you know, I would hate to save... Sure, why not? I would hate to save, um... our Lemon Party pill for that, take damage on one of these rooms, and be like, well, at least we'll kill the boss easily, and then Duke of Flies shows up, and I'm like, do 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 boo, you know? You are causing trouble down here where you do not belong. Still no bombs. Our HP is out of control. Now, I really, really, really need to get a deal with the devil to make me feel better about this run. Not that it's bad, but to feel better about giving up that opportunity to pick up, uh... To pick up nine lives. I would love to be able to trade some of our HP away to get a deal with the devil that I could only take if I gave up nine lives. Or if I didn't take nine lives. Because if I took nine lives, I could take any deal that I wanted. Although, to be fair, with two HP, you can take any two deals that show up. Uh, even if, well, you can't take two, two heart deals. You can take one, one heart, and then a two heart, and it's like, basically, you got, like, the one heart for free. But anyway, it's, it's amazing how differently this run could have been if I had just gone to the curse room right off the bat. But what I was gonna say is I don't want to go to the curse room right off the bat, because if there's a bad trip pill, and I take it, then I'll die on that room. But I guess I would not have because of nine lives, but it just goes to show you, you know, nothing in Isaac, well, few things in Isaac are very certain. Turns out the, the thing that was exactly wrong to do on that Eve run that got us killed, like six or seven runs ago, I guess now, is the exact thing that would have made this Kane run, you know, four HP, nine lives right now, instead. Uh, Emperor card is great. 
We'll use our Lemon Party pill on the boss fight because we've managed to make it this far without using it on any of other the other rooms and without getting hit, which is pretty much your ideal case scenario. And then um, let's take the Emperor card with us. Variety of, of interesting uses for an Emperor card. One of which, of course, as you will hear me talk about ad nauseum, getting out of our boss rush room for free. So we're at something stupid like 7 HP now, and we're gonna fight Krampus, that's the worst case scenario. Ugh. And it, the, the fucked up thing about it is that I can't even complain about it, because it's not bad. No matter what we get, like, we're gonna be able to make use of it. Lump of coal we can use, Krampus' head we can use. But the fucked up thing about it is that I could have totally taken nine lives and still been in the exact same position, just minus a very insignificant amount of HP. That hurts a little bit. That being said, we're making good time. We got an Emperor card. Life's good. Let's not get too mad. We got three keys. Down to the next floor. I'm not going to explore everything. You should explore everything. As always, do as I say, not as I do if you're looking to get better at Isaac. But if you're looking to have the maximum enjoyment in Isaac, hey, watch along. Because I have been playing this game for 500 years, and I just don't know how to quit it. So I... Not, not Quidditch. I know how to Quidditch, baby. Actually, I think UBC, which is the, well, the UBC closest to me is the University of British Columbia. I think they have their own Quidditch team, which is, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I don't play on it. I didn't even go to UBC. But, uh, you know, I'm just saying by proximity, out of all the people in the world, I got to be in, like, probably, like, the top 30% for knowing how to Quidditch. Although, I, I've only read the first Harry Potter book, and I haven't seen any of the movies. But, uh, you know, I think Harry Potter, it's funny... Because every, like, young adult novel that becomes a phenomenon gets shit on by people who are slightly out of the target demographic, or even people that are in the target demographic but don't identify with the, with the books as, like, interesting stuff. Right? When I was a kid, when I was, like, 14, Harry Potter was the hip shit to hate on. But I think if you were, like, a little bit older, read a little bit smarter, or uh, a little bit younger, Harry Potter was dope as hell. It was dope as hell for a lot of people in our demographic as well. But we were like, yeah, we're too cool to read that kitty shit. And you get older and you realize you're an idiot, and Harry Potter was actually, like, it was pretty cool. I wish that I'd read it when I was younger. Um, but I see that happening now. Joker card is pretty great as well. We'll see. Um, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I see that happening now, or at, at least a couple years ago, with, like, the Hunger Games. And I'm like, man, you know, as like a, a mid-twenties man, married man, I haven't read the books. Not that if you did, you know, there's anything wrong with that. But I saw the movies, I thought the movies were extremely well done. You shouldn't hate a property just because of the people that, like, identify with it, you know? The one thing I will say, you know, Twilight is not made for people like me. But Twilight is the only one where I, I did see one of the Twilight films. And I was like, you know what? This deserves all of the ire that it gets. This is... I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad influence or anything like that, but this is I, you know, not for me. Let's just put it that way. We still have a good chance to earn our own deal with the devil here, which I'm pretty stoked about. I would like to buy a Spirit Heart if there is one for sale. There is. We also... Uh, okay, you know what? As much as I would love to buy what is for sale, blank card completely revitalizes Joker in our rankings. Um, if we can get to 15 cents, not out of the question, uh, then... Again, like, the whole... It, I realize I keep interrupting myself here. And there's the damage that I should not have taken. Uh, twice. The whole thing on this run right now... Th four times. Okay. Getting a little ridiculous now. Um, the thing I've realized on this run is that it's a... It's a... Problem where we have a lot of choice. If we didn't have choice on this run, our life would actually be easier. I feel that way about life sometimes. But I'm very, you know, very glad I do have a choice in my life. But anyway... Um, we don't need to get into that meditative stuff unless I pick up Mom's knife right away and don't have to worry about my mechanics. Holy Christ, I'm playing badly. Because I have the Joker card, I um, am worried about this Emperor card. If I didn't have the Joker card, I'd be happy with the Emperor card. Because I had nine lives, I'm worried about the body. Or because I had the body, I'm worried about nine lives. If I didn't have one or the other, we would just be happy. All right, two Emperor cards is actually relatively worthless. I would much rather have two Joker cards. Now, we might not deserve a deal with the devil on this floor, so you know what's probably likely is that we end up using our Joker card on this floor and uh, taking our Emperor card down to the next floor. That's... Let's just drop our Emperor card here. Next level strats. This way we'll be closer to get our Emperor card on the way back. Clever girl. Actually, we're not going slowly, so I shouldn't worry too much about, like, speedrunning strats. 
Not that I'm a speedrunner at all. I just, you know, colloquial speedrunner strats. I got Gish's head in our, um, in our item room. Or Little Gish, I guess I should say. Little Gish is a, a good item. Decent item, at least. I like having it. Starting to doubt our money situation. I mean, you know, I'm not shooting any poops or shooting any fires, at least not consistently, so I am kind of putting myself behind the eight ball by not, uh, doing the, you know, literally minimum mandatory due diligence anyway to start complaining. But I'm gonna complain anyway, because it's my show and I can say whatever the heck I want. That's the principle of the, the free media, for better or for worse. Goity. Most important thing was just that we stand right in there. Second most important thing, which is probably literally the actual most important thing, is don't take damage. Give yourself a small chance at that deal with the devil legitimately. Then you can take the Joker card with you to the next floor. All right. We deserve that. Let's well, Joker card. I'm very happy. Ooh. You know what? No. I'm going to ignore my deal with the Angel precedent, which I think gives me a better deal with the devil chance in the future. I think if you take deal with the Angel precedent, you kind of f screw yourself. That might not be true, though. You might still have exactly the equivalent chance of getting a deal with the devil if you do that. In which case, I have just passed up an angel room for no reason. Which is not that bad, actually, but kind of stupid. I passed up an HP for no reason. Oh, well. Ten minutes deep. Curse of the Lost. Big thing on this room is, is actually earning that deal with the devil. We didn't fuck it up. It like the the only way we might have fucked up is like taking one less HP than we uh, we were entitled to. However, it's not our fault we got an angel room there, and it's not our fault the angel room kind of sucked. Not that it's too bad, but you know we don't need we don't need the prayer card. We're already getting way too much HP. I appreciate forty eight hour energy here actually. Um, you know what? We got so many batteries. Why risk it? Unknown is a very wild item. I, sometimes I wonder, when did I get old? When did I let my spirit of, uh, of adventure fade away? I used to take Unknown and love Unknown every time it showed up, and now I'm like, Ooh, I'm scared of Unknown, I'm afraid of the Unknown, I don't know. But, um, you know, we do have... It's getting old, man. We got something to, to live for here. We got our, our all-character streak that I'm hoping to protect. It's still in its infancy, but I would, I would like to make it happen. You know what we might want to do here, just to guarantee us, or give us the best chance possible of a deal with the devil? Let's Emperor, and this might sort of fuck up our deal with the devil, or sorry, our, our boss rush chances, but we can probably get another teleportation card somewhere down the line. And it actually did work out completely in our favor. Now I'm very glad I didn't take prayer card, because come on, look at this bullshit. Oh my god. Alright, one of these days, the game is going to have to give us a worthwhile deal. And it only has to give us one to make it, to make it really count. Did we go to our item room? We did, and we got, um, we got something. It was Super Bandage. No, we got Super Bandage from the boss just now. I literally cannot remember. That's, uh, terrifying. It must not have been that useful for me. Actually, it was the most useful item in the game. I don't know, okay? Oh, it's unknown, right? I was just talking about how I had a fear of the unknown, right? I made that clever wordplay and still forgot. That's almost unforgivable. Um... I don't know. Because Krampus' head is, is quite nice. But I guess, you know, being able to get a bunch of free items from I Am Error would be quite nice as well. This is like the ultimate scary room for me because I love both of these items. But I, I'll take Mom's Key if given the choice. Wow. Lucky me. And I didn't blow up. Oh, I did blow up the donation machine. It just doesn't actually blow up. Right. Um, I love Mom's Key. I had to take Mom's Key. I love Mom's Key. What do you got for me? Guppy items? Not guppy items. We've been to all of our rooms at this point that are meaningful though. Shouldn't check the time there probably. So we're gonna be out of this floor super quickly. You know what? Goodbye Krampus's head. I may end up very much regretting this decision. However, I'm uh, leaving on a jet plane. No, seriously though, I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. And I'm hoping for error rooms. Secret rooms would kind of suck, but maybe not the second secret room. You never know. I could really use an eternal heart right now since we're, you know, we're at the threshold where picking up an eternal heart actually means losing a spirit heart. That's where the it becomes a little dubious at that point, I'd say. It's got to join up soon. Like, we got to be very close. I like how when you slow the head, 
the whole body gets slowed as well. Like, that's actually a really nice kind of effect of this item. You know, we're getting rid of this item soon anyway. Wow, I got hit. Uh, we're getting rid of it anyway, we might as well just leave. Is this not the right way? Did I really just, like, unintentionally pick the perfect ways to go to get to the, the special rooms as quickly as possible? I would like to be out of this floor by, you know, 1330 if possible. Why, in that case, are you just continuously going in the wrong direction then when you already know it's the wrong direction, Ryan? Hey, you know what? You make a very good point, but you, you did it in kind of an ugly way, so I'm not going to appreciate that. Well, there's our arcade. I may actually want to take a brief moment here to take a little bit longer on this floor. Especially if there's a demon judgment, which there's not, but that's okay. And we're just gonna play the bejesus Christ out of this. Maybe I'll, I'll take myself down to two hearts. That's about where I feel comfortable, considering we are gonna sacrifice some damage in the process as well. You know what I just realized? Unknown means that we can totally go to the boss rush room. That's good enough. It also takes us exactly to 15 cents for the next shop. Unknown means that we can totally go to our boss rush room and just teleport out. That makes it... Don't take that. <laughs> that makes it very nice. Yeah. It was like, are you sure you want it? I want it. I'm going to take it. We're going to try it. Yo, yo. Bunch of jerky flies, but we did get Gemini. Gemini, when we wouldn't have otherwise gotten Gemini, that's a win. All right. This is good stuff. So we're a little slower than I'd like to be. A little slower than I normally am, or at least aim for by this point. He got, like, weirdly trapped in the wall there. Now, admittedly, HP, a little bit of a sore spot right now. Oh, this is perfect, yeah. Gemini, oh no. Gemini doesn't really do that much damage. But it is nice to not have to do that damage myself, you know? Admittedly, I'm scared shitless about my HP right now. That guy is going to drop ooze instead of HP. That's a disappointing turn of events. But all we need to do is get to some of these special rooms and it'll be sorted out pretty quickly. Yeah, you know what? I will take that Eternal Heart now. I'm willing to risk it. The question now is whether we can get into our boss rush room. And I think that's a very good question to be asking. Uh, I think the answer, honestly, I'm going to prepare you for the worst, but hope for the best. I think the answer might be no. And I think we're going to go with Curved Horn here. I do love the left hand. I always forget to drop it. Sometimes that works out in my favor. Rarely. But I think we got to take the guaranteed damage up over the you know, occasionally good guppy chance, especially when we have zero guppy items thus far. Um, the other thing is that we have mom's key, so I'd rather just get regular chests or golden chests, which are more likely to pay out with uh, good stuff for us, I feel. Plus, this will speed us up and give us a better chance of getting to boss rush. The question becomes, on this floor, do we... Oh, I thought I could do that. Do we try to um, sneak through the whole thing by using the uh, unknown effect as soon as it's available or do we try to go to everything on this floor I think if we could skip through this floor a little bit I would feel a little bit more confident about our boss rush attempt in general so I'm not I don't want to leave this floor without getting anything but maybe after we go to our boss room I'll pop it even if we haven't seen everything uh, lover's card feels nice unfortunately can't go to our cursed room ah uh, we could we could teleport out good point I gotta get used to having unknown unknown is like teleport but with like a purpose I appreciate it Come on, come on. Like, we're on a little bit of a tight schedule here. Now we can't go to it. Might lose this Eternal Heart. To be straight with you, this Eternal Heart is meaningless anyway. It, like, seriously is not a... Oh, what? I didn't see... Gemini covered you up! I was just about to be like, we can go to our, uh... We can go to our shop and pick up uh, something to protect our Eternal Heart. But again, the Eternal Heart is relatively meaningless. It doesn't matter whether we have 9 HP or 10 HP, especially when we can't seem to give any of it away. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, there's a golden key. We should go get it. But um, Sure, I'll take Broken Stopwatch. I'll take this as well. You know what? You know what? Okay, we're at 17 minutes. I would really like to get to this error room ASAP. Work with me here. Help me get some spirit hearts. I should not have been standing so close, but hey, we got a spirit heart. And some spiders. That's our secret room. Lock down. Tears down. Speed down. All right, uh, fuck you, and I know we're skipping the item room to do this, and we don't even have a guarantee that we're going to get into our boss room, but I got to give it a try. Oh, okay, so we got into our item room. It gave us the shears. 
look, you can probably go through my exact thought process if you just watch what happened there. The Shears is uh, borderline a game-winning item for real. And I'm so sad to be leaving it. But Unknown, if I'm going to commit to Unknown, we got to commit to Unknown. It's a little bit... I know, there's a golden key. It's a little bit cooler. Goathead is really, really useful for me at this point. I can't seem to get good deals with the Devil, but we'll definitely raise our chances by getting as many of them as possible. Um, I really doubt that Boss Rush is going to be a thing, but Unknown is still cool. You know, like, teleport with a purpose. It's actually okay. What a strange run, though. I have to... Remember that my number one commitment on this run, you know, my allegiance is to the streak. But I actually think we can finagle some kind of bullshit reasoning where... The, the item is called Undefined, by the way. I'm just an idiot. But um, by using Undefined appropriately, we can actually find ourselves in a position where we're in a better strategic position than we otherwise would be. I know it sounds ridiculous. Had to check and make sure that I did not have... Uh, the red hand, or the left hand, still. We can't fight Krampus. Are we giving up? I think we have to give up on Boss Rush. Which honestly means I should probably go back and fight one more room for the, another unknown chance. So we're going to get the ability to fly for free. Everything is basically for free, just given the stupid amount of HP we have. Lemon Party is fine. Bad Gas isn't really. Have we taken a deal with the Devil item? I'm going to take uh, Missing Page 2. Just so that I have deal with the devil precedent. And then we're going to fly back around here. And um, I think there's a chest that I can get. But I'm not really worried about due diligence. I'm mostly worried about fighting one more room. So that I can get to the error room if it's at all possible. That that HP might end up being useful. You never know. Alright, I'm, I'm in a good place on this run. I'm excited. Hopefully our other room has some combat in it. In the meantime, let me hydrate here. Unknown is one of those items that I, I advocate for. Not just as a silly item, because sometimes it is, but also as a, a... Oh, no combat. But also as a pretty good item. Not always, but sometimes. So we, unfortunately, we're entering a bit of a period of, like, uh, probably radio silence when it comes to undefined. Unknown, undefined. You know the deal. We are going to choose to not take it until we find our boss room. The good news is we can go to our boss room, and we can say, you know, let's fight the boss, then teleport out. But we can't take it before we find the boss room, or we really sincerely run the risk of uh, missing the Polaroid. Or the uh, the negative, for that matter, but I would assume the Polaroid. You never know if we get a Yara rune. Plus, I love the ability to just play the chest over and over and over and over and over sometimes. Especially if we can make something good happen on this floor and maybe get a... Uh, ooh, yeah, okay. If we could make something good happen on this floor and maybe get a um, a shop item that gives us more usage of undefined, we could pop it like crazy. Once we get down to the womb. At womb 1 at least. Womb 2, not really. Sure, I mean, we get a damage upgrade from Odd Mushroom. It's fine. Magician sucks the big one. We're already living in a post-boss boss rush universe. It's amazing how often I'm getting these, despite not even uh, wanting to at this point. Yeah, we have, we have broken stopwatch, not regular stopwatch. I was a little confused for a minute because I keep, seem to keep getting uh, slows more often than I'd expect. Why do I take Brother Bobby? Honestly, we seem to consistently get Brother Bobby in situations where I have so much HP that it doesn't matter. So I'd like to get Champion's Belt. Um, but it's not the end of the world either way. Brother Bobby is like... I, I only really take it as either a bravado thing, just for shits and giggles, basically. Or as like, uh, you know, we need deal with the devil precedent and it's the best thing available, which usually happens, you know, first or second floor if it happens at all. And um, the other option is just we have more HP that we know what to do with. And I think, honestly, in all of those situations, it's the right thing to do to take Brother Bobby. Well, except for the bravado one. That one's just horseshit. But that was not bravado. I took Brother Bobby because we have so much HP that I would rather have... I would rather trade one HP for a disproportionately bad damage upgrade, which is a DPS upgrade, which is basically what Brother Bobby is, uh, than, than have to, you know, just live with this HP and not have more damage. If we can win with more... Or if we can win with... Uh, 
more damage, less HP. Sorry, let me rephrase this. It's, it's an awkward expression to come out with here. If we can win with less HP than we have, why not trade that HP away for more damage, right? That's the way I feel about it. Probably gives us a better chance. I don't know. Obviously, you know, I'm a little biased because I have the... Uh, the task of convincing you that taking Brother Bobby was the right decision. But, you know, honestly, now that I think about it, I really don't. Because if you don't think Brother Bobby's the right decision, it's totally fine. It's just unlikely to make a difference pretty much at all over the course of this run. Tears down, great, not that useful. Yeah, I'm taking some dumb damage. I, I care about it less now that I know we have Goat Head. Uh, not, not salty about the nine lives thing anymore. You know, we're piecing together a good run here. I could use some more damage. But there's a, at least a relatively realistic chance of getting more damage. As a result of the fact that we have the goat head. I would like to get champion's belt as well. That's, you talk about a relatively realistic chance to get more damage. That's, a uh, just nine cents away if we can manage to make it happen. Eight cents away if we can manage to make it happen. We could bomb our donation machine, but I really don't like the idea of bombing our donation machine in non-emergencies. Figure. Uh, I really should have tried to hit the the body segment here if I could have. I didn't realize. Like, if we popped it probably, like, right here, we would have been able to hit one of the body segments. Maybe if we popped it in the corner, we would have been able to hit the center with Lemon Party and two other uh, body segments. That would have probably killed Mom. Not that the Mom fight is, you know, destined to be that difficult for us regardless, but... You know, the, the faster you do it, the less damage you're going to take in the process. That's meaningful. It can make a difference for a lot of people. Lemon Party is one of those uh, those cards that is, or those pills, that is typically saved. Depending on uh, how you value it. I value it pretty highly. Around the same level as maybe like a Devil card or an Empress card. This damage is just ridiculous. But I'll take the Polaroid and then we'll see what we've got in our Devil Room. Oh, we've already been there, so then we'll... I error room out. Takes us to just a random special room. Well, it's our item room. It's not a random special room. You get the idea, though. Three of them, right? I'm getting used to the amount of... Uh, oh, four of them! <laughs> That's what I get for being cocky. Um, okay, we've been to our curse room. It was nice to us. Even though I have lost most of the HP that we gained in the process. Aw, oh, Gemini, you were so close to actually making that work. I was hoping that he would drop a battery. Don't get hit by those guys. You can still get hit by them. I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna run out before we get a chance to teleport to an error room. Although, I, ooh, never mind. I have Champion's Belt. I may actually bomb our donation machine. Because I think we're gonna be able to get a battery and Champion's Belt. That's my synopsis. The Champion's Belt, that was very dumb, is by far the most important. And you know what? We can always donate like another three cents over here. Oh, come on. Don't do me dirty like that. Now I want three so I can get to seven. Ah, uh, we got four. They always, or five. They always give me just a little bit too much. But this allows me to buy that spirit heart at least. And then we'll teleport out. Didn't work. What about if we blow this up? Get a battery out of it. Okay, well, the dream has to die at some point. What am I doing? Yep, I, I walked right into that one. I, I can't really complain. So we're still in a good position. You know, we got Champion's Belt for some increased damage. The punishment that we suffer from that is probably not going to be too great. And um, we have Goat Head. So we, like, we're so due for a decent deal with the Devil. We've had four of them so far. And I, I think we've had four. And none of them have been good. Well, we got Krampus's Head from one. Which actually was great for us for a while. Then, Red Chess. Then... Brother Bobby. No, Brother Bobby's the fourth one. But the one in the middle, we picked up Missing Page 2. To get Deal with the Devil precedent. Instead of having to, you know, suffer deals with the Angel in the future. It's, uh, you know, a bit of a disproportionately bad setup. But we've had some pretty decent items drop in the meantime. We have 15 keys. Which is really, like, if you're looking for prerequisites to have a fun, uh, undefined run. Especially when it comes to the chest. You're looking for keys and you're looking for, um, you're looking for damage so that you don't... Well, HP a little bit, but end damage, so you don't take a uh, hundred years to go through each room and end up taking damage in the process. What a useless big room up there. It's alright. Useless big room was also uh, my porno name. I didn't get a lot of work. Maybe because I auditioned as a set. But dumb shh. Not very good. That, that one's going to need some more time on the drawing board. Or some more time on the drawing table. Am I right? 
middle, the, the you know, British torturers from the Middle Ages, but dumb ch Okay, well, I'll be here all week, unfortunately. Uh, we can afford to teleport away on this trip. And there we go, we get a free guppy item, and uh, we don't really want any of these. In a, in a way, this is terrible, because we did miss out on our chance to get a deal with the devil. But we did get a guppy item for free, which is probably not worth it. I got maybe a little little too stoked about Undefined there. But it worked. <laughs> of course, if you if you could choose when Undefined would pay you out to an item room and when Undefined would pay you out to an error room, it would be you know worth its weight in gold. We can't take it on this floor. And actually that would be a pretty good reason to uh to go to the dark room on a an undefined run is so that you could actually like take uh, as many undefined charges on this floor as you wanted to. Because if we... Oh, that was almost bad. We'd end up uh, going to Shoal if we ended up using it. So I'm not going to pick up the charge yet. Because I figure, you know, after we fight our boss... I, actually, we still can't do it after we fight our boss. So I might as well pick up the charge. But by the time we get to our boss, we're going to have a charge anyway. So it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know what happens if you get to an I Am Error room. And you're on the Cathedral. I genuinely am... Quite confused about that. Why was I excited to get Guppy's head? I mean, if anything, you know, you can make the case pretty easily that I should have taken Guppy's head with me instead of just abandoning it. But why was I excited to even get it in the first place? I was like, oh, free Guppy item, yeah! And then I was like, well, actually, it's a free Guppy item when we have zero chance of becoming Guppy, and we got some flies. The flies do all right damage, but they're flies, you know? It's not that good. But again, uh, a large part of our run is just making it to the chest at this point. And uh, we have a... Is this fast mom's heart? No, it's... Oh my god. I was confused for a second because of the music. I was like, fa fast mom's heart seems like a pretty terrible draw. I'm not even sure if you can get fast bosses because it would, might be too unfair. Um, but... But... Um, this is a... I'm trying to keep Gemini in there. Uh, it's, a, it's a good situation. When we get to the chest, we can just start immediately popping... Uh, unknown charges as fast as we can because every single one that we get gives us four new items It's basically like that. Well every single one that actually pays out with an error room gives us four new items It's like having a constant stream of, of rerolls that are just very very unreliable Plus you need more keys for each one So we're heading up now excited about that Curse of the blind means we can't see our items which you know is, is meaningless anyway. Oh We should just try to use unknown Undefined, I should say. Three cents. Again, I don't really know if it works up here, but... The odds are that any random teleport is a pretty okay chance to put us closer to our boss fight than... Uh, than the spawn room. Most of the time, at least. I like these slowed rooms. The fast rooms are gonna, you know, really do a number on me, probably. But the slow rooms are not that bad. Extra keys, you know, in intervals of four, they matter. So being at 18 doesn't matter that much, but if being at 18 it eventually means that we get to 20 instead of, uh, you know, 18, I guess, then that's that's great for us. Because 20, you never know. We might actually I am error five times. It's unlikely. But there's no item room, and there's no uh, shop on the chest, so it's not like we can ever teleport into those. Really, you just get a string of, like, semi-bad luck, and you end up teleporting to secret rooms and second secret rooms over and over. I was really hoping that would be an Emperor card. Oh, you know, I was gonna say, we could... Actually, that's not very good. If we had the Fool card earlier, when we were on the Womb 1, we could have Fool carded out of our Error Room. Would have gotten Guppy's head for free, and then still had a deal with the devil, which could have been nice. I'm sure if you're playing along with the seat at home, you probably found that uh, that deal with the devil was the one with Brimstone, Bomb's Knife, whatever. Because of course it was. But I'm having fun with this run regardless. It's it's certainly not a, uh, a one run, but it's a very interesting run, and a, a run that we're winning is definitely on the table. If we play our cards right. Mystery Sack. That actually, at first I was like, you know, I could actually use some HP, but... Um, Mystery Sack could actually be pretty good for us. It oftentimes drops double consumables. Uh, double keys, you know, could be handy if we get a super high amount of I Am Error rooms. Uh, but really, we'll, we'll be looking at uh, Spirit Hearts. I don't think double Spirit Hearts can drop. 
I don't think I've ever seen a double spirit art as much as I would like to. Um, the other thing is... I forgot that not only do I Am Error Rooms give you... Uh, ooh, yeah, that's pretty much the HP upgrade I wanted. Uh, not only do double... Or not only do Error Rooms give you... Uh, the ability to get new chests on the chest, which is important, but they also give you, you know, anywhere from like zero to five items each, which is pretty crazy. And uh, you know, on the chest, I think even in the air rooms, all of the iron chests will just pay out with uh, with regular items. It's pretty incredible. Figured we'd just, you know, blow a hole in the whole production here, speed things up a little bit. That's for you, Gemini. That's for you. Good. Obviously, we're not going to take Unknown right before this boss fight. I think that would be an ill-advised decision. Now, it is a, it's a legit Isaac boss fight. You know, we're not dealing with any uh, slows here, which is unfortunate because it means his range is going to be high. But all we need to do is survive the fight. And if we survive the fight, then we get down to the cathedral. That was... The fact that he has, like, no shot animation and his shot speed is high is such a mindfuck, man. Gets me so often. Gemini is going to be helping, you know, guard the perimeter just a little bit here. We should be taking care of those guys whenever it's appropriate. Ooh, that one I thought I really did get out of the way of. It's all right. The bomb sort of worked. I've got to start dodging more here. All right. First phase and what I would consider to probably be the hardest phase is done. We can, considering... What? I didn't really expect to take damage there. Considering our damage, we can probably afford to get uh, a little close. Like, close enough for Gemini to chew a little bit. And I'm... You know what? I'm full of shit. We can't afford to get close at all. I'm bad. This is alright. We've been in this situation before. Never mind. I am an idiot. And I made throw on the Isaac fight here. Despite having like 6 HP. It's the fact... It's the, the shot speed, man. You think shot speed is a bad stat? Fight Isaac a hundred times. Dude's an asshole. I should have left... Um, should have left less than three to pick up later. But still, we lived. There's no red hearts waiting for us. All right, this is a big moment of truth for us. Admittedly bad play, but let's fix it here. Celtic Cross. Taurus. Quad Shot. These are all good items that don't keep me alive immediately, but are very, very helpful. Please, error. Okay, okay, spirits. Yeah, okay, one spirit heart is at least, oh my god, our boss fight is right there. One Spirit Heart is at least something. And the Taurus and the Celtic Cross could help. Are we really going to fight our boss right now, though? I think the answer to that question is, has got to be no. I think we got to go for broke, but please don't, like, like, don't punish me immediately. Like, don't put me in a double adversary room. This room's okay. Because we can get some, some Taurus action happening here pretty quickly. There we go. And we just take out one of them at least. I think they should take more damage if they fall down on top of you while you're using Taurus. Wow, that bomb did not work. But anyway, we can at least get like another room charge and possibly a payout. How's our luck stat? I can't even really remember. I think we've gotten a couple luck upgrades, but maybe like a downgrade or two along the way. We didn't have PhD, but we had a lot of pills identified. Okay, bombs. Why not just fight the boss right away? Not only do I want more undefined chances, but... You know... Getting some red hearts might not hurt either. Or even like a single, you know, I don't need a full health or a bad trip pill. If you just give me like a freaking... Ugh, I don't know. Lover's card. I don't know if this necessarily helps. The good news is, it is it is really like a Hail Mary kind of play. Oh, shit. Oh, yes, old bandage! But if we end up on a room we hate, we actually can... Um, fool card out of it. Which is something. All we need is... Oh, fuck this death, man. All we need is two more uh, rooms to get another undefined charge. It might seem like that's actually worsening our chances, but I disagree. Yes, as long as you get them into the positions where they're much easier. And we did do that there. Um, 
you know, we made it so death no longer summons the bomb flies, and we made it so pestilence no longer summons the spiders. So let's go small room. All right, it's the the inverse of the last room in terms of horsemen of the apocalypse. See, our damage is, is pretty solid. I had a perfect shot line up there until you ruined it, you asshole. Now we get we get on to find ourselves into a real shit situation. I'm gonna hope that that's not the case. He could on slow any second here. Okay, undefined, undefined, undefined. It's the same freaking room. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's tempting to just go fight right away. But I would like to get like a little bit more HP. This could help. He won't let me leave. Security. Oh, he pushed me. It's just double Monstro 2. He pushed me into the room though. That's what I'm most offended by here. I'm not offended by the room itself. I'm offended by the fact, oh shit, that I didn't have a choice in coming in here. Not a good use of Taurus. Am I gonna teleport out of this? Fuck it. That won't be necessary. One of these guys has to die though. Don't ever jump on me. I will never forgive you. I don't think you can get two Taurus charges on one room. It's never come up. Probably a bad sign for this run's chances. Now the worst thing that could happen, well, is obviously getting hit in any context, but the worst thing that could happen, in all likelihood, <gasps> is exactly that. Well, there goes my streak. <sighs> it was fun, though. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.